do you want to do MS? And Logan explained that my mom has MS and people should know what's happening. Right, Logan? Yep. <laughs> and then as time went on, Stacy, my daughter, who you're going to meet in a second, was lucky enough to be blessed and given a service dog named Pixie. Right, Logan? Yep. <laughs> so Pixie's made a wonderful difference in Stacy's life, given her mobility. And something else that Logan liked, he said people used to look at his mom funny because some days weren't as good as others, and now they always look at the dog. Right, Logan? Yep. <laughs> so he's really happy for that. So at Logan's idea and the MS Wish, his grandma and his grandpa, Sandy and I, just had a little get together over at Spring Creek Village where we live. And about 140 of our neighbors showed up wearing orange. It was a sea of orange that afternoon. We felt obligated. We wanted to do something to help support the service dog project and MS. So we carried out Logan's dream to have this function go on. Right, Logan? And so here we are today. We want to thank you for your generosity. I'd like to have Stacy come up with Pixie so you can see. Uh, is she sleeping? Oh, we got to get her up. Bring her up, Stace. You know, just a couple of quick facts. I don't know if you know this. I was doing a little research and looking up what the definition of multiple sclerosis is. I found something interesting. You may know. Sclerosis means scars. Multiple means many. So multiple sclerosis means many scars. It affects people differently, each and every person. What happens is the mylar, myelin, which is like the covering on an electrical wire, gets eaten away, your body attacks it. So some people have a few scars, some have a lot. And as your brain sends the electrical signals so that you can move, talk, walk in your hands, that gets affected depending upon how bad the MS has eaten away at the covering. So that's why everybody with MS, it's all different. So this is my daughter, Stacy, and this is her, part of her attached to her day and night is Pixie, her service dog. So Stacy's giving her finger because she wants to tell you about Pixie. Well, I was pretty lucky to get Pixie. Actually, I always say I was blessed, and I was, so I wasn't really expecting to do this. <laughs> so, I always say that Pixie's my shining star. Before I got her, um, I actually lost the ability to my left leg, and I refused to walk her in a cane. So, I would actually scooch at home on the floor, and my two young boys, and my fiance would actually help me. And the way we got around it at home, we would actually all have little races on the floor because we always try to smile and laugh and giggle and make the best of everything and never show anybody all the bad sides. So I would scooch up and down the floors and then scooch up and down and then my kids would always have to help me get up and off and down up the stairs. And then this little guy over here who made the wish couldn't go to school, he would go to school crying every single day because he didn't feel safe because I was always falling. So I received Pixie and I started being able to walk again. And people stopped staring at me because I would go out in public. And people would always sit there and stare at me like I was some kind of an awkward person. But now they don't do that anymore because I have the ability to walk. I wouldn't have that ability if I had the walker or the cane because I always say that we have four legs. Actually, sorry, I apologize. Pixie and I are now six legs and four eyes because we walk in sequence. She taught me how to walk again, even though I still have no ability to have any feeling in my left, in my left bottom part of my leg. So Pixie didn't only give me the ability back to life again, she gave the ability back to my family, to the life, thanks to the service dog project for their wonderful donation for what they do for people like me. And they do for so many others who change one life at a time. Thank you. So that's, that's why we're here tonight, folks. 
We're here to try and help to give somebody else the opportunity for a service dog. They do everything through donations. So I, I beg you, open up your hearts, your wallets. It's going to a great cause. And God has a strange way of working to pay you back. That's all I could say. Sometimes good things happen. And with that, thank you so much. The appetizers are coming out, and we really appreciate you all being here. Thank you.